In many areas picking up two to three inches of rain, some places even more. Jessica Alpern, Fox 4, in your corner. <laughs> so it's been a week since I've seen her. Hi, this is my cat. That is the perks of working from home. <laughs> 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 Yep. But the Clovis Unified School Board District is expected to decide on how they will operate for the upcoming school year. The decision will be made tonight during their board meeting. Yep, in the living room, catching someone sleeping on the job right now. She was up and at him just a little bit ago. No, she's sleeping. She's like this weather thing. We do anticipate this is going to have something to do with the governor's executive order regarding anybody flying in from the New York City area. So here's what we know so far. Partly sunny with some sprinkles possible late. 56. Hey, look at that. My cat Charlie just showed up on the table to join me here and uh, welcome all our viewers. And while your supply kits at home might look a little different, thanks to hand sanitizer and masks, power companies have had to do some additional planning too. As all CSU campuses move their fall terms to online, many San Diego State University students are questioning the costs for this fall term. Another Valley business is making changes to ensure the customer and worker safety. Starting today, White House Fruit Farm in Canfield is temporarily closing to walk in traffic. Adam Clements live in the remote breaking news center with a dog barking. Ace, pardon me. Ang allowed is dalawang pasahero per row. Oh, Live from her home. There you go. That'll affect your mental health, right, Christy? <laughs> Tell Sammy we said hello over there. Yeah, uh, Sammy wanting attention. <laughs> She's getting a little excited. Um, Outdoor concerts, sporting and performing arts venues can reopen. We're still working on getting answers to how that might look in Hampton Roads. <laughs> Kitty. <laughs> Meteorologist Cheryl Scott's live now with our ABC7 AccuWeather forecast. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, guys. <laughs> yeah, it's a crazy day, especially coming from yesterday when our temps were in the 70s outside the window right now. We have some sunshine, but... As reopening begins in Santa Clara County, officials want to reach out to local businesses. The county supervisor is proposing a community health and business engagement team with 200 members, and she spoke a short time ago. Starting today, only three Minneapolis beaches. <laughs> Why? <laughs> but what we found was a lot of states don't even have good regimens to keep the data to make sure that, um, I'm sorry, I <laughs> the bird just landed on his head. It's okay. It's okay. Sorry, <laughs> All good. Over. Uh, All good. Now, over the next seven days, we are going to see a uh, storm. We trying to get in on the forecast here. <laughs> uh, so we have some big changes coming up. Unfortunately, uh, my cat decided to mess with my weather computer here, and I, I can't really back up to where we were at. Nice weather returning to the area. So we will see plenty of days with sun-filled skies next week. So looking forward to that. And of course, this weekend, not a washout either. Back to you. I kind of like the sound of that, Cheryl. Now, Lola mm -hmm. may not seem so impressed about it, but the rest of us are pretty excited about the springtime weather coming in. I think there are some benefits to working from home. As much as I'd like to be back there with everybody, uh, Betty here, this is the lion's household cat, seems to be enamored of all the lights out here. She's shedding right now and because it's going to be chilly. Over 600,000 people applied yesterday, <laughs> and that's, of course, only one quarter of the total amount of people. And you just met Lulu. I'm sorry, but I have to say, Glenn, <laughs> that is fabulous. <laughs> this is maybe the first cat yeah, sighting well, in all of the home offices across <laughs> CTV. So. <laughs> Okay. She's, she's friendly out there. 48 degrees. Oh. Kate, someone's up. Someone's awake. Oh, Dougie! <laughs> he just jumped up. Oh, Dougie! The there he goes. Hashtag work at home life, Chris. Nothing you can do about it. <laughs> Dougie, nothing you can do about it. Oh, look at him. He wants your attention. Oh. 
Zach. <laughs> Always. <laughs> oh my gosh, Zach, we should all bring our dogs in. So here we are in the living room. This is how it's going to be. Got the sidekick, Lola, making her cameo, and we're doing what we can, but it is going to be a beautiful day tomorrow. Good. We'll look forward to seeing you and Lola out for a walk tomorrow then. I sure. know. Did Lola get her day. appearance yeah. fee? Maybe that's why she walked away <laughs> yeah. at the top of the weather <laughs> yeah, forecast. Exactly. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Good Thursday morning. A bird just flew into my house. <laughs> Well, that makes for good TV. <laughs> good morning, everyone. It's a crazy morning over here at my residence, but we have some cloudy skies over there this morning. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. Just had a, a bird fly through my door. I had my door open for my talk this morning. Is this heat going to last? Meteorologist Cheryl Scott here with the ABC7 AccuWeather Forecast. Hi, Cheryl. Hey, Cheryl. Yep, we are feeling summer-like weather. Temperatures well above average, and we're even going to get hotter into the day tomorrow. Lola here with the sunnies behind me, equipped with her dog sunnies. We're going to go for a walk after the newscast, enjoy some of the sunshine out there. Three, two, one. Dr. Rupi adds that when you take off your mask, grab the elastic by your ears. That way, you're not touching your nose or your mouth. We'll put all this information on our website, also where you can get a cloth mask at khon2.com. Lauren Day, khon2 News, working for Really? Joining you once again at the 6.30 half hour from my home. This, we've got our little remote studio set up here. I don't know if you can see him. My cat is sitting just right. Oh my gosh, you can. Well, yeah. <laughs> there he is. Oh, oh he just he's bit so me. cute. <laughs> oh, he's a, There's Lou. He just jumped up here. Blue, get down. All right. I, <laughs> what a mess. You know what? That's just the glories of working at home. I'm Andrea Isom, and the message this survivor and his wife has for all. You guys. Oh my God. Stop it. Seriously. You guys, stop. Stop it. Oh my gosh. This is so ridiculous. Okay, hold on. I'm going to do the tag real quick. I'll see if they'll stop fighting. Fitz, place. Fitz, place. Fitz, place. But players, coaches, and executives are still hopeful a condensed season can still happen. Dixie, stop. Be good. Three, two, one. Dixie, no. Stop. Hey, Aaron, were you going to say something? Which, which cat is that? That's Puffy. Puffy. <laughs> Got it. Okay. I know. It's hard because I have a thousand cats. <laughs> I only have two, but they keep making their appearance. They're both waiting to be fed. So That's they're good. both waiting like right here. Okay. One right here, one right there. So, yeah. You know, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Working from home. Working from home. Puffy did not like that. All right. Today, showers and storms. chance for severe weather, especially for parts of southeast Oklahoma. <laughs> Kitties. Kitties. On the way, we're already starting to see showers and storms develop. <laughs> Three, two. Stop. I'm going to stock up on some cats for this pandemic. Yeah. Woo, 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 woo. Okay. <laughs> uh, first take. Oops. Let's give you another bright spot here on News 4 Midday. My friend Amelia Draper and uh, the new guest appearance these days is uh, Cora, the <laughs> pup dog. Well, Erica, you know Cora so well. You know, if I'm at home, I'm sitting down. She yes. has to be on my lap. So Wait, we can't I, see her too I well, can't Mel. do anything can about it. Lift her up a little bit more so people can see her sweet little face. Hi, Koe. <laughs> oh, there she is. Hi, Cora. Um, but yeah, she's a little lap dog. <laughs> people were spraying it on mosquitoes everywhere. That's my dog. <laughs> and it was... Um, it was uh, moving into the water and into the air. And it was... At, or sorry, it was... Can we start over? I'm sorry. Sure. Yes. The Can dog, I let my dog out? The, the dog really threw you. Upstairs? Yeah, no, it's <laughs> fine. <laughs> That's me. This is real life here, Liz. Heidi, go. I'm sorry. No, don't be yeah. sorry. <laughs> yeah. Another tough issue he wants lawmakers to address is liability. Can you... Uh, <laughs> 
excuse me. Can, uh, and come here. I need you to not be in my shot. Thank you. Can you sit? Good boy. Thank you. I love you. Okay. Are you in my shot still? <laughs> Ugh, goodness. The rising warmer air in through the inland valleys and the mountains and the deserts, all of that rising. You know what? Hold on. Sorry. Hey, Dolly, Dolly, Dolly. Nope, nope. Come here. Dolly, come here right now. Sorry. Sorry. That is, um, sorry. <laughs> that would never have happened. All my animals are, sorry, my uh, dog was going after one of the chickens, but all is well now. Uh, I can't believe that just happened. Appa apologies. Um, they're all out of sorts because I'm home and they don't know what to do with themselves. Uh, all is well. So, <laughs> All right, top hour tracking. We're going to see if Beast moves at all this morning. Three, two, one. Well, that message was directed to any non-compliant restaurants or bars across our state. You chilling, Beast? That's what I thought. We'll let you hear more from that news conference coming up in our next half hour. Jessica Alpern, Fox 4, in your corner. <laughs> You're killing time for me. I gotta get this done. This is what you wanted. <laughs> Fireside chats with Butch and Amanda. Kitten. I could do this real fast. Okay, now we're sitting. Uh, really? Uh, oh, okay, I'll try it one more time. <laughs> Tell me about it. What should I do better? Anything else you want to add? Hmm? You gotta hop down, bubs. You gotta hop down. <laughs> and you're hairy. I've got hair all over me. I can't have hair on me. Three, two, one. For a <laughs> Three, two, one. For a lot of people, the best part of quarantine is being home with your cats. <laughs> this is mine. My... <laughs> Three, two, one. For a lot of people, the best. For a lot of people, the best part of quarantine is staying home with your pets all day. For a lot of people, the best part of quarantine is staying home with your pets all day. For a lot of people, staying home with your pets all day in quarantine is the best part about it. Really, from here through the afternoon, I expect most of us dry. That goes for even the early evening. Uh, <laughs> Murphy, I don't like this forecast either. Hang in there, bud. Uh, we're going to be dealing with storm chances going up from about 8 p.m. until about 2 a.m. in the overnight hours. So just a heads up, we are talking about some fairly widespread storms, so we really want to pay attention to the initial line as it is up around the Red River. Uh, as far as those threats go, the main threat will be damaging winds up to 70 miles per hour. Large hail will be a possibility as well. And we will continue to watch as those storms dissipate overnight. You wouldn't know looking at this that it's going to turn active. It's so nice out there. 78 degrees with sunshine will continue to climb into the upper 80s. Well, the rain's moving out of the area tonight, but we're not quite done with it yet. More is headed our way this week, and the chief, Bill Steffen, tracking that for us this evening. Bill? We had some rain come through this evening, anywhere from about one-tenth to two-tenths of an inch. We had 15 hundredths at the uh, airport here in Grand Rapids and also at Battle Creek, 17 hundredths at Kalamazoo. Rain's pretty much over. Storm Track Live still showing just a few sprinkles of rain off to the south and southeast of Grand Rapids. Those will end shortly, and we'll have some lingering showers throughout the day on Wednesday, probably into Thursday as well, as a very slow-moving system comes right across the state of Michigan. And that system could bring us about an inch of rain uh, through the mid part of the week, uh, tapering off here late in the day on Thursday. And Thursday could be a pretty windy day, and Thursday also the coolest day that we will see here this coming week. Taking the stairs. <laughs> Max, get out of my shot. <laughs> you have to get out of my shot, little guy. I gotta work. 
I'm doing, I'm doing real work. Sit with your brother. Sit. Who says the quartet will work well with the returning Trojans who have already bought into the program. Coach Cross says he's excited. <laughs> what do you think about Coach Cross's signing class? Coach Cross says he's hoping to add one more player who's ready to take the stairs. Haley Sutton, WSFA 12 Sports. Monica provided me with one of the best moments ever. What you guys don't know is I can see everything that's going on from those remotes from here in studio. So yesterday when Monica was doing her headlines, let's just say her co-workers jumped in. Here we go in three, two, watch out for a lift. Okay. Hey, stop. Let's try it again. In three, two, watch out. Watch out for a little light fog as you're heading out this morning. Oh my gosh. Try it again. Three, two. <laughs> now, I put that on social media yesterday, Hilarious. and on Twitter, it had more than 20,000 views. And, and Monica, just how do you Stop. do it? How do you keep Tessa, concentrating? Tessa, sit. Sit. Can you see her right now? This is the one that was making all the noise yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> she just wants to be on TV. Oh my That's gosh, all. She's gone now. She's going to try to bring me a frisbee. <laughs> Oh, that, oh, but you know, our there were dogs so many people so running that were saying, maybe put her in another room. And I was like, if she's in another room, all you'll do is hear her whining because she wants to get in here. It's yeah. I'm so glad you all enjoyed right. it. It was hilarious. Well, let her stay. We need more videos for social media. Oh my gosh. Media. <laughs> and Riley, I was noticing earlier in the show, you have a little friend joining you today. Who's that back there on the bed? <laughs> That's Conrad. <laughs> he, uh, he usually loves to come down in the morning and do a little snuggle there on the bed, yeah. and he falls asleep. He and the thing move. is, too, is usually, I don't know if you guys can ever hear it, but he typically, he snores. <laughs> uh, I just thought it was a pillow. I didn't even so, realize that was an actual dog it, back there. <laughs> Well, I've had a, I've had a few emails that people are like, "Is that um, is that clothing? Is it a cat? Like, what is it?" I'm like, "No, it's Conrad." So here here's the backstory. Here's the backstory of this. So um, Conrad cannot. He has small feet, so he can't really jump on the couch. So my other dog Maddie can't. So she kind of does that to escape the kids because they're up playing and doing things like that. So she has an escape place. Conrad's like, "I can't do it. I can't get on the couch. Let me come down here." Uh, so this is his little peace area. I would say to kind of have a little R&R. &R. It's perfect. He hasn't moved in the entire show. Yeah. Let's see if we can keep it going. Very good. Riley, it is. He's small, the star of the show right small now. Small-footed dog. There it is. All right. That's right. I love it. Hello, Ziggy. I know you're excited. Share. Can you get down, though? I'm so sorry. Goodbye. Oh, goodbye. Okay, sorry. Sorry, bud. You're going to have to get down. Hi, Zig. Sorry, buddy. you got to get down. Hi, Zig. You're going to have to get down. I'm really sorry. we got to show the people the tweets. Oh, you got to get down, buddy. Thank you. So we want to see every morning photos of the nurses that are in your life. Oh, my cat came to say hello. Um, we want to see the photos of nurses in your life. Use the hashtag 13 sunrise. Ziggy and I will share your photos. Biggie. Okay. <laughs> Tell them we say hi. What a cutie. <laughs> Thanks so much, oh. Meredith. Good morning. I have to reset myself because Ziggy just uh, shut the laptop and messed up my presentation for everyone. Does that work? There we go. Okay, thank you. Don't do that again. Automatically be applied on their next Kroger purchase. He's trying to shut it again, but you're going to have to get down if you keep acting up like that. Your total was fifteen fifty. You could donate that extra 50 cents right there to uh, a local food bank. Ziggy apparently doesn't like this story. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much, Meredith. With well, some warnings from the IRS. Hey, Meredith. Hey, good morning, Ben. Yes, usually April 15th, scariest day of the year. All good to know. Yeah, ask the questions. And I love how you don't even ask Zig to get down anymore. You just take him and you just set him down on the floor when he gets in the live shot go. now. It's like <laughs> we don't even have time for this on tax day. Maple, can you stop just for a second? Three, two, one. More cold air. Three, two, one. Cold air continues across the area tonight. Potential for some frost and freeze for some of us. Warm up, it's going to take. Hey, hey, come here. Come here. Come here. Sit. Three, two, one. Frost and freeze for some of us again tonight. The cold air is lingering through much of the week. 
We'll show you when the best chance of precipitation is with Futurecast. Maple. Three, two, one. Maple, excuse me. Hello, come here, come here, come here. Do you want to be in this tease? Is that what you want? Come here. Just lean up here, I can do this. Three, two, one. Another night where we may have frost or a freeze for some of us, and the cool weather, it's sticking around for much of the week. We'll show you when the warm-up finally gets here. 